you want to ask me questions? What questions? Do you have a list? I have a list, but like... Well, what? why do you dance, Tom? I dance. I dance because it feels good. And because when I dance, you go into another, you go to another place, go to another realm. And you become, you become one with your movements. Why do you think people dance? Is this cheesy? I don't know. Why do I think people dance? People have been dancing for as long as there have been people. And, you know, like babies, babies dance, grown ups dance, everybody dances, old people dance if they can. Everybody around the world dances. Every culture dances. They all have dances unique to them. Every generation has a dance unique to them. I think it's pretty pretty sure that, that people will be dancing for a long time to come. I figure. I figure you can't say you don't dance or your people don't dance. I think it's definitely a unifying force between everyone. I think, I think that dance is something you can you can believe in, like most other people believe in things. I mean, people find purpose in the world through what they believe in, and I think that uh, you know people will believe in, in money or making money or being well off, or people will believe in in. Uh, like warfare and things like that. I think that I, while other people are, are fighting or arguing, I think it's just as noble to be dancing. I think, uh, I think it's just as good as anything to do in the present moment. Now, what right. are you talking about? Uh, we'll tell a story about when I was when I was younger, when I was about a freshman, we used to hang out with my buddy's barn all the time, and he used to have uh, he used to have all this like really cool stuff in there, and there was like he had some awesome kites and like masks and just weird shit like that, and he had this sign that said, uh, "Life may not be the party we thought it would be, but while we're here, let's dance." That was pretty. Listen, you fuckers, you screwheads. Here is a man who would not take it anymore. Who would not let... Listen, you fuckers, you screwheads. Here is a man who would not take it anymore. A man who stood up against the scum, the cunts, the dogs, the filth, the shit. Here is someone who stood up. Here is... <laughs> We don't stop till the screaming starts, you dig? Penis been fucking erect! Penis, mom! Oh, yeah, a false prophet's god is a superstition. It's a gift. You're a god! It's a gift! A false prophet's god is a superstition. I can't hear you in fact. I am a false prophet's god is a superstition. I am a false prophet's god is a superstition. It is almost too painful to think about. Too pain. Too pain. Too pain. Too pain. Too painful to think about. Hope. They'll never be able to forget it. Hope. 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 Horror has a face, and you must make a friend of horror. Horror and moral terror are your friends. They are not, then they are enemies to be feared. They are truly enemies. The 
quite a natural procedure for them. Look at this. The chook ready to have its head chopped off. There you go. Prepared. The Bagat is in control, and we are not about to give up. Revolution means change. It means total change. And then when you find out what men actually do, well, I'm getting out of this town so fast, away from all the words and the monuments on the whole rotten show. Didn't you do something about it? A man on the move, and just sick enough to be totally confident.